I'm Cassie, and this is Peter, and we're in the band Gorilla Toss. This is Records in My Life. <laughs> Thanks for having us. My pleasure. How are you today? How's Boise treating you? It's good. It's been a, a fun festival. Uh, I saw Built to Spill yesterday, uh, Namdi the Great, so good. Um, and we played a show, and uh, yeah, it's been super fun. I have to mention Tree Fort Fest because they've been really kind and gracious to us. Have you played the festival before? Or? No, this is the first yeah. time. Yeah. I've always wanted to, so it was exciting when, when we got the offer. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And any other bands you're... Looking forward to seeing at the festival? We saw some stuff I, yesterday. Yeah, the stuff <laughs> yesterday was good. I wanted to see Caitlin Aurelia Smith. She was playing yesterday, uh, but I missed it. And I maybe if she's playing today, I would go see that for sure. I was just going to say we have some friends who are playing who I'd like to go see, but... Uh, 40 Feet Tall. 40 Feet Tall is playing. Yeah. Delicate Steve. Oh, Delicate Steve is playing. Record, I, I like, I like him. Do you have a title by, by 40 Foot Tall or Delicate Steve that you like to listen to? I listen to them all. It's okay. all good. Yeah. You can, but can you throw us a, throw us a bone, a title off the, because this is called Records of My Life, just if you can't, if you can't, we can move I'm on. I'm really bad with names. There's the Delicate Steve album that has, it's kind of blue pink. on the cover. I like, I like the, the blue one. one. <laughs> yeah. The blue. I like the, the blue one. one. No, no, <laughs> it's just, it, there's, it's like it has a blue cover, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's not helpful at all, but yeah. Guys, thank you again for being on Records in My Life. The show is about you and the records that have inspired you, but I want to talk about your current record, Famously Alive. Um, who you, who'd you work on and who you collaborated with, uh, where you recorded it, all the exciting stuff. Yeah, big shout out to uh, Abe Seaforth. He, uh, we recorded it with him uh, at Transmitter Park Studio. It's in Greenpoint. It's a really cool uh, spot, and Abe is a pleasure to work with. And he, he kind of co-produced it. We all sort of produced it together, and... And uh, yeah, so that's who he did. The, he tracked it and mixed it, and and we did it all uh, with him. Yeah, he's great. And Dan Walker mastered it. Shout out to Dan. He's great. Yeah, yeah, love him. He yeah. mixed and uh, did the uh, GT Ultra. Album yeah, he worked on did. some of our older stuff, yeah. but he mastered this record. Uh -huh. um, if I'm wrong or right, the record touches on a lot of hope and and yeah, definitely, know, yeah. So and. It's, it's an encouraging record. It gives people hope and positivity. Um, what's a good record for, because we're living in a tough, as we were chatting to, about before, we live in kind of a tough age. What, what's another good record you listen to to uplift your, give you some hope or maybe uplift your spirits, even dance maybe? I can answer that. I, I really like, um, we like a lot of uh, kraut rock, you know, like everybody yeah. is into. There's one record I really love. It's La Dusseldorf Viva. That's kind of one of my, have you ever heard that record? It, no. Viva by La Dusseldorf. It's uh, it's white cover. It says Viva on the front and kind mm. of like a spray paint type of thing. It's really uplifting, and it's it's one of the dudes from uh, that w that was in Noi. It was uh, Klaus. Uh, it was the, the drummer. He went on to do La Dusseldorf, and they were a really fantastic band. It's super positive music. It's the kind of music where it feels like you like have you are you you just ran a marathon and you won. It's that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. It's like I don't play sports, but I imagine when you play sports and you win, that's what it feels like. It's a yeah. good record to put on to wake up to start the day. Yeah. A very excellent very, day. Very positive. <laughs> that is, it's a good, sorry, I don't like beat the, beat the drum. Sorry, that's a perfect thing. All but, good. <laughs> but, but for sure, the crowd music does, it is kind of like a continuous kind of like a yeah. lot of it. It's very pattern. And it was like the children of the, you know, World War. So it's just like it's like coming right. out of this very dark place, you know, and like people just trying to find a way to, you know, get through the next day. Sure, so, sure. But yeah. And the techno, I mean, the tech, this is going to lead into the next question, but the technology they were working with was pretty minimal, like the band, like the stuff like Silver Apples and Can and all those bands. And oh, Noi. yeah. So from a technical um, point of view, which record still, when you listen to it, kind of from an instrumental or production, still blows you away when you hear it every time? Harold Groskopf, The Synthesist. We're getting nerdy now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like, you're specifically, just, yeah, we're getting nerdy. 
like what 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 records from that genre? Like yeah, any any genre oh, from anything. a production point of view, musical. You could do the same genre. I know we're still we're in the crowd it's rock okay. zone right now. Uh, I, the way those cluster records sound are really fantastic, and those oh, were yeah. definitely like experimenting with with some of that like technology of the time. Cluster harmonia. Like all the Eno stuff. We're all big Eno fans. Like like everyone should be. You know, yeah. if you don't know that stuff, shame right. on you. At this point, you got to get into all that. You know, if you're you want to rock and make weird rock, but yeah, I mean those records sound incredible and and uh, yeah, very inspiring to us. Yeah. yeah. About your youth, I, if I have my research correct, you took singing lessons when you were young. Is that right? Yeah, my family was like uh, into you, church and stuff, and like we would sing together. Yeah. Who were some of the vocalists that really inspired you? As a to kid, sing? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I really liked Patti Smith. <laughs> Uh, Gloria, you know, I liked singing like that kind of like happy stuff. Uh, I don't know, I, like as a kid, kid, like Britney Spears. Favorite soundtrack. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's hard to do favorite anything, but it's like the other day I was thinking about the, I was listening to it too, the, the Rumblefish soundtrack. Oh, you ever heard no. that? That's Stuart the, Copeland. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's sort of like I don't know. It popped into my head, and I was listening to it. I was watching some YouTube videos, maybe some scenes from that movie or something. But yeah, that music's pretty cool. Yeah, that that's always like I think I saw that movie when I was pretty young, and I remember being like, "This, that's some really cool music," and it's always sort of stuck with me. It's pretty wacky, and it's Stuart Copeland, and, and that movie's awesome too. Yeah, that was pretty. It was pretty cutting edge for Mickey Rourke. It was pretty cutting edge yeah, for yeah. Matt Dillon, I think. Right? Everybody's in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like young Nicolas Cage. Yes. And I think Dennis Hopper's in it. Mm. Yeah. He's like the father you know, messed up or something. Dennis. I think, I think he's in it, right? I, yeah. I can't remember. You he's in it. Right. Dennis Hopper's in it, yeah. Getting, getting a, I'm no a good with like movie, movie soundtracks or anything, but I really love like the kind of like 80s sci-fi, like kind of synth-driven, like Tangerine Dream-esque oh, they did a lot of, of good uh, soundtracks, yeah, right? Stuff like, yeah, just like sci-fi, horror, yeah. Yeah, 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 like... James Caan, that, he did, that, that's the first time I ever heard Tangerine was the James Caan thief mm -hmm. oh, I watched I watched Thief sort of recently. That that's was, that's a good movie. one. That's yeah. from 76, 77? I want to watch that with headphones. Uh, we, watched that. we watched that in The Gambler, too. I want to watch it with similar headphones, though. 70s. You see The Gambler with... with, with with the I didn't see that was that Jimmy Con. Yeah, yeah, Conte? yeah. Rest in peace. He died recently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was great. Poor bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Maybe he wasn't <laughs> a nice guy. I shouldn't. Say I don't know. That. I, just, I think I think he had a nice long <laughs> life, a good career. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But that uh, yeah, Thief was awesome. Yeah. That was that the Tangerine Dream yeah. stuff. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, I love oh, that yeah, movie. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, well, in the last few years, I love that movie too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really good. Everyone, you guys should check that movie out if you haven't seen it, because it's like no one, like no one see that movie, but it's so good. Mm -hmm. I read that it was like it was like Star Wars came out the same week and like ruined it, you know. But like that was supposed to be like the the big movie. Yeah. So anyway, music. What's a record? Well, what's a record that's inspiring in these days that you've really gravitated? To? <laughs> that's what I, that's I mean, I've been I've been like doing this like radio show, in the Catskills. Right. So I've been like tapping into like a lot of like uh, Japanese power pop and like that kind of synth driven stuff yeah. uh, what records which, in particular what records in particular <laughs> <laughs> like stuff by the plastics and like uh uh harmony harumi hasano like those mm -hmm. albums uh yeah. It's funny. It's like all I do all day is think about music and what inspires me and what I like. And then when someone's like, what have you been listening to? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't hard, know. It's a hard answer. It really is. Yeah. yeah. I figured you were, you were going to kind of like talk about like, you yeah, know. That's like with specific albums, right? Yeah. Like albums that influenced like our, our band, like Gorillatos. And, and one, one I was thinking about this morning, like as I was waking up was the slits and the album cut. You know, I don't really listen to that anymore. But like, I think like when we were starting, still the band, listen to that. We were starting like the band, and I, I read the book uh, Viv Albertine, the guitar player, wrote uh, "Close, Close, Close, Boys, Boys, Boys," music, 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 or something like that. Um, and just like, it's like this big, thick book all about like their experience with the Slits and how interconnected everything was with like the Clash and the uh, uh, the Buzzcocks. And like uh, May eighth, you know, nineteen seventy seven, they played this like sick show in uh at Bristol and like that would be like such an awesome like fly on the wall show to like be at. Like the clash, Buzzcocks yes. and the Slits opening. You know, Fantastic. like Ari up being like fourteen years old. You gotta go to that show. Just wow. being like totally psycho and like just like I don't know, I just feel like that was just an amazing time. 
Oh, amazing. Amazing show. Cox. Yeah. Amazing, like, records happening, like, at that time for all those bands. And, well, yeah. Steve, D- Steve Diggle is still, uh, still doing it, still yeah. touring. Unfortunately, um, I'm doing no justice because like, I love the Buzzcocks, too, but he passed away a few, a few years ago. Yeah. yeah right. But uh, so I, let, I will ask you another question about your record, about your band in particularly. Yeah. Let's say you were looking for a new synth player. What <laughs> would what would the, thank you? What would what would the ad say? The Craig Craigslist uh, ad <laughs> say which band must like the slits and what else? And give us a record maybe from one of the bands. That's a cool question. Well, band. I mean, we would want them to have like kind of like. The technical b- ability as well as the weirdness factor. Right. And I think that the weirdness factor could be introduced, like, based on, like, how, like, what kind of person they are, you know? <laughs> um, but a must, like, you need to give us a must, like. You got to, like, uh, you got to, like, <laughs> David Bowie, low. Yeah, yeah. David Bowie. Uh, you got to, like, low. It's funny <laughs> because, because our new synth player, uh. But she does yeah. like Harumi Hasano and she's that got kind great of like, taste. But she she like wasn't super familiar with Low, and I was like, Yeah, check out Low. <laughs> yeah, check out Low. This required listening. <laughs> That's and great. a bunch of other ones. And Krautrock. It's yeah. interesting because Kro- It's funny like when we had another band on the show yesterday. When they seventy percent of the interview was about Krautrock. We were talking about really? it, but yeah, we're talking about you today. So anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you, Gorilla Toss, for being on Records of My Life, the speed yeah, round now, and then we'll let you go on and enjoy lovely Tree Fort Festival. That's it. Weed, water, or wine to listen to your favorite <laughs> music, <laughs> or to write. Uh, water. <laughs> yeah, we're just, I'm just chugging the water now. Yeah. 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 Family's not watching. It's only fans, so it's okay to be. Uh, no, no we're, water is we're water is excellent. If I smoke weed, I'm gonna like. I'm just gonna go away. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> coffee with an artist, alive or dead? I would like to have coffee with Viv Albertine. That would be sick. Yeah, I love her books. I read all her books. Yeah. Uh, Maybe fantastic. Michael Rother too. I, I that would be. Oh yeah, Michael Rother would be cool because we just did something for uh, the Noi the box that they just released, and uh, and we're big fans of. He's the guitar player from from Noi. Really big fan of his. I feel like that's almost realistic since we sort of did something like we should get coffee. I know. You watching like, this? I we gotta like, get coffee sometime. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're, ever, you're like free or like whatever. Yeah, come meet us in upstate New York. I'd like to have coffee with Patty Smith too. She's a great that'd poet. Be, that would be amazing. Um, Joni Mitchell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love Joni Mitchell. Nice I don't know Canada Canada reference for Canadian show. Ah, sure. yes. Where's some more? Yeah. Neil Young. I mean, I'm going to ask it again. I, I said in the last interview because they brought up a Canadian artist. They brought up Justin Bieber, and I said, "Well, like, okay, I wasn't going to ask Canadian question, <laughs> but you brought forgot. it up. So give us a Canadian record." Well, yeah, like Neil Young, I guess. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> like all those Neil Young records are. <laughs> Pretty powerful, you know, and Joey Mitchell stuff, you know. Joey Mitchell. Joey Mitchell rips. I don't. I don't think I'd want to get coffee with either of them, honestly. I don't know. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> they might not be friendly. You don't. I like say, drink, say, Don't meet your idols, right? I like drinking know. coffee alone. You know. <laughs> I don't know. Answer. I met some pretty great uh, idols recently uh, in Pavement, and uh, oh. oh, we hung out with Pavement. They were real cool. Nice. Great yeah. people. Very kind. Quick, quick brag here. Fantastic. Yeah, they're they're cool. Yeah. yeah, they were really nice. Yeah, really. Favorite pavement albums? Okay, my secretly my favorite pavement album is actually the Malcolmus album. Uh, first, first solo or second? the one with uh, it's also it's like green on the cover. <laughs> the one with pencil pig rot. Like, uh, yeah. What's it called? It's like really pencil good. rot. Is it like, uh, lib like pig lib or something or? Mm, it's not that one. I know that one though. I'm so bad with names. I know I should have prepared for the album. That's okay. Thing. It's really good. I've listened to that record a lot recently. Record. Yeah, I wish we were sitting here on a couch and we could just like. You know, put on the records and like listen to them together. That would be right. Record, yeah. record of your high school years. Yeah, I mean, there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it's like kind of based out of Velvet Underground. The raincoats. The first record yeah. you think. The raincoats. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. I had that on. Vi- my mom gave me that on vinyl. I have mm-hmm. like a sort of a, like older pressing of that. The raincoats. Mm-hmm. Cool mom. Yeah, I have a really cool mom. She yeah, is. She's really good taste. Really yeah, cool. she got me all that stuff. Uh, it's I really mean, like the Talking Heads. You know, Rated the Light, yeah. Velvet Underground, all the all the basics. Yeah. A lot of Led Zeppelin. I like a lot of classic rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. House of the Holy. It's a good one. Iggy Pop Raw Power. So sick. Yeah. That, that's like, that heavy, was like a life changing yeah. like album, definitely, to listen to. I'd say The Idiot's like top 10 yeah. favorite, right? It's one of my, that's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. It's a good one. It's like perfect all the way through. Mm-hmm. And that last song is amazing. 
great record selections, guys. Thank, thanks again for being on Records in My Life. Um, of course. Words, last thing, words of wisdom for your fans and our audience. Uh, I just started reading the Rick Rubin book, A Creative Act, and it's really beautiful. I'm like halfway through. I think it's pretty good for anyone who's an artist to read. Words of wisdom. <laughs> just keep keep making music. Keep making keep, keep listening to music. You gotta listen. You gotta watch. And expand. Just and keep just listening fun. to new shit. Yeah. It's you know, just, don't keep listening to the same old shit. There's so much music out there. You gotta just yeah. you gotta like you like you don't have to remember the names because I don't remember the names. <laughs> but you just gotta go. You gotta go check it all out. It's it's all Everything. right there now. You know. Everything. It's like, True. So just just keep listening and and mm -hmm. don't settle. Yeah. Follow the algorithm or let it let it lead you. Whatever that means. Uh, not to take anything away from you. <laughs> just call him Jack Nick from now on. <laughs>